Road to GH will reveal that Sonny Corinthos could be portrayed as the mastermind behind the elaborate scheme to create a fake gun to protect Alexis Davis and her daughter, Christina. With years of experience in the criminal underworld, Sonny understands the ins and outs and weaknesses of the legal system, enabling him to orchestrate an extremely sophisticated plan without leaving any trace. First, Sonny was aware that the real murder weapon had been destroyed by Jason Morgan to erase any evidence that could implicate Alexis. However, to force the police and investigators to back off, Sonny decided to create a fake gun closely resembling the real one Alexis had, had thrown into the river. He meticulously planned every step, from forging the gun to finding a way to place it in police hands without raising suspicion. Sonny knew the layout of the PCPD building well, a place with tight security and many surveillance cameras. But with his deep understanding of the building's structure, he exploited blind spots in the camera system to deliver the package unnoticed. To further distract the police and create chaos, Sonny staged a fake bomb threat by leaving traces of explosives on the package, forcing the police station to evacuate and giving him the time and space to secretly plant the fake gun. The fake gun was crafted with great precision, not matching any bullets from John Cates's murder, but close enough to the weapon Alexis had discarded to make the police believe it was the murder weapon. Sonny hoped that the discovery of this gun would weaken any evidence against Alexis and compel the police to reluctantly conclude her innocence. The bomb threat and the suspicious circumstances surrounding the gun's discovery led the investigators to proceed with caution. Harrison Chase, one of the lead officers, suspected that someone was trying to manipulate the investigation, sensing that this was more than just a search for evidence. Still, when the gun failed to match the ballistic reports, the police were forced to exclude Alexis from suspicion. Sonny Corinthos had calculated every next move to ensure that he and his loved ones would not be implicated in the investigation into John Kate's death. To protect Alexis and Christina from legal trouble, Sonny started finding a scapegoat to take the blame. Sonny knew that in order to escape the investigation unscathed, he had to find someone to take the fall for the crime. This person needed not only a plausible motive, but also sufficient connections to convince the police they were involved in John's death. Sonny began to devise a plan to direct the police's attention to another individual, using his relationships and influence to supply false leads and evidence. Throughout this process, Sonny maintained a perfect cover, he had a clear alibi at the time the gun was delivered to the police station, and no one could prove that Sonny was directly involved. His plan was proceeding smoothly as expected. However, tensions within the Corinthos family began to rise. Michael Corinthos, Sonny's son, started to suspect that his father had interfered in the case to protect Alexis and Christina. Though raised in the family's criminal world, Michael had never fully agreed with how Sonny always used his power and influence to manipulate the legal system. Michael worried that Sonny's actions were not only unethical, but could also drag the family into a dangerous legal spiral. Meanwhile, Sonny, true to his nature of protecting his loved ones at all costs, had no regrets about creating the fake gun. He knew that without this decisive action, Alexis might face prison time, something he could not accept. In the end, the truth about the fake gun may eventually come out, but by that time, Sonny would have already accomplished his mission, saving Alexis and Christina from legal scrutiny while keeping himself out of trouble. However, Sonny's actions left lasting consequences, particularly the doubt and mistrust from those closest to him, like Michael.